What's up guys, Nick here, out with my buddy Matt Frazier today. We're back out here on uh, New Maloney's Reservoir and we're gonna do a little something different today. Uh, you know, we had two cold fronts in a row and we're actually at the end of August and a lot of the bodies of water around us dropped eight, up to eight degrees. Some of them I've even seen almost 10 degrees in the last few days. Uh, so we're out here on New Malonis. The water's still really clear, um, but it's been more of a finesse style bite. So we thought we would do an interesting thing today. We're gonna do a four hour bait versus bait challenge. So we're gonna have shaky head versus the jig. And so automatically I'm gonna assume the shaky head's gonna catch more, um, but the jig might catch bigger. But Matt's been kind of telling me the opposite lately. You seem to be catching good size, good size real, on the shaky size. head. Yeah. So we're going to do a jig versus shaky head. Um, we're expecting probably 12 to 18 mile an hour winds in the later afternoon. Right now it's relatively calm. Uh, we're going to be fishing submerged islands, long tapering main lake points around a lot of rock. And uh, a lot of these fish in here are on shad, they're on gobies and they're on signal crawfish. So go ahead and make the call right now what you think will win for numbers and what you think will win for overall size. We're gonna go the single biggest fish for one of those baits will be the winner of that category and whatever other one catches the most will be the winner of that other category. So my, right now, I'm saying jig big fish, number shaky head. Okay. What are you thinking? I'm calling big fish shaky head and number shaky head. And number shaky head. So you think shaky head all around winner today? All around winner. I think it's gonna I think it's gonna outfish jig five to one. But I think the jigs looking more like a goby. And in Maloney's they have a lot of those and I think the bigger fish prefer those. So this is gonna be an interesting game right here. Uh, we're gonna rotate a lot. We're both gonna be fishing the opposite baits. We're not at this very moment, um, but we're gonna be fishing I'll be fishing the jig for 30 minutes. He'll be fishing the shaky head for 30 minutes and we're gonna switch. We're both gonna share the front of the boat. We're not gonna hog first cast. We're gonna rotate to give this the best even trial possible. So hang with us guys, it should be interesting. All right guys, we're gonna get our first 30 minute segment started right here. I have a half ounce football jig. This is a finesse jig with a Mustad Ultra Point hook. California Reservoir Lures makes this. And I'm using a three inch Kitex style hula grub on there is the trailer. It matches up those three, three and a half inch gobies, I think quite nicely for what we have here. Um, that half ounce is gonna help us because we're fishing really eight to 25 column, probably the majority of the time today. So that's gonna help me maintain better contact. The shaky head Matt's throwing, uh, you have a 3 16 ounce on there? Yeah, 3 16 ounce head with the, with the trick worm. It's a six inch trick worm. Six inch trick worm. Uh, what color is that? It's a green pumpkin, red flake. And, right I'm, and mine, I have the quarter ounce uh, with the uh, candy grass pattern on there. But uh, that's a Mustad jig head, and uh, I mean Mustad uh, shaky head, excuse me. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, do you know what shaky head you're throwing? Me? Yeah. Uh, not on this one, no. I, I... It's generic? Yep. <laughs> All right, that's a generic. So uh, if Matt Frazier's willing to fish some off-brand stuff, you guys should too, and don't feel bad about it. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm gonna start the first 30 minutes right now. We're gonna see what happens. Matt is out in front of me, so we're gonna be changing places frequently to keep this fair. So let's do it. So this jig, it's a thinner diameter hook. It's not like a flipping jig. And the thinner diameter hooks, and it's a slightly smaller hook. I think this is a two watt instead of like a three or four, which you're gonna see on a lot of jigs. And the reason for that is this reservoir has a lot of spotted bass and the mouth is not as big. So you don't really want a big wide gap hook. Also when you're fishing deep and at a longer distance, when you first feel that bite, you can get on that hook set a lot easier with that thinner diameter. Uh, your line's out there a long ways. You don't have a ton of impact, so that thinner diameter hook's gonna penetrate well. Uh, I'm throwing it on my finesse, uh, my sticks reaction stick. Um, and this is like a, a bigger crankbait style or a bigger jerkbait style or a chatterbait rod. Um, it's longer, it's a seven foot six, and it's a little bit more limber in the tip, which is gonna give me some forgiveness with that thinner diameter hook. And that's why I'm throwing it on there. I'm going for the long cast. I'm fishing deep. I want a longer rod so I can pick up with the longer hook set. Even though a jig isn't a reaction bait, like I said, Styx rods are insanely versatile. And that's exactly why I broke up all six to be that way, because I can do everything. Numbers and big fish so far, I'm leading. Shake <laughs> yeah. head's a leader. First catch, we're probably, I just had one swim off with my jig that I missed, but that's number one. 
Number one, little guy. He has to go in the box for now. Oh, yeah, boy. That's, that's what we're doing. That's the rules. That's the rules. You is it, go is he a legal keeper? Uh, here, I'll tell you. Right here. Put him up to the yellow line. Oh, yeah. Sticks to the rescue? Sticks to the rescue. He is legal. Exactly 12. These spots, no matter how how big they are, they pull, man. Yes, they do. Look at that thing. Do nothing shaky head. All right, guys, that's 30 minutes. Matt has to pick up his jig, and I have to pick up my shaky head. Ooh. That's all on the jig. Feels like a larky, maybe. Foul hook or something. He's rolling in. Oh, he's fouled. He's rolling in. Look at this. We still count those. <laughs> he just can't go in the live well. No. But it's still, uh, oh, he's short. Yeah. He ain't 12. Can't count him. See you, little guy. How heavy a jig you throw, Matt? This is a half ounce jig here. I, it, it's a. Uh, that little got a little purple in it. That PB and J got a little swim bait trail. Yeah, I'm fish on, a fish on this in the back. Shaky head. Shaky head fish. Oh, I think he might be. He might be short. I don't know. We're gonna find out. Oh, no qualified. I don't think he's long enough. We're gonna find out here. I don't think so. No, he's definitely short. Doesn't qualify. So it's still two zero. Shaky head. Even though we got those last two fish. If if you couldn't have a chance at weighing them in, we ain't letting them count. Another shaky head fish. This one feels a little bit more like a keeper. Fish on the jig. Oh yeah. Okay, this guy's fitting up shad everywhere. Shad went flying everywhere out of this guy's mouth. Jig's gonna be on the board this one. I think this may taking big fish. I'm back to Matt. I'm going to Matt. Go to Matt. Qualified. That's, that's, okay. that's big fish so far. So it's three to one shaky head, but big fish to jig. This is the largest fish on a jig so far. So we got that. Perfect. If you first saw when we first started, it was just glass out here. We got a little bit of a wind, maybe an eight mile an hour, maybe 10 an hour of wind picked up. We just fished through here with one little bite that we didn't hook up on. And just from this time period, we went around this area, it's been about 25 minutes. Came back to the same area that wind has, winds now pushed bait up against this little point you see come out here. There's a drop off that comes back towards us off that point. And they have that bait pushed right up against that ledge. And every time we're bringing it down here, we've now caught four fish, I think, or maybe five off this one little area that we just fished 25 minutes ago with no bites. Hang with us, guys. We'll be right back. Attention Northern California anglers, have you been to boat country in Escalon with one of the largest selections of welded aluminum fishing boats from North River, Hughescraft, and now Crestliner? Chances are they have the right boat for you. And did I mention they have a full service center to take care of all your repair or boating maintenance needs? If you're a boat owner or just looking to become one, you owe it to yourself to check these guys out. Visit BoatCountryUSA.com or stop on by. We'll see you there. Wondering what I'm doing here? That's simple. I'm logging a fish catch into the Fat Sack Outdoors online tournament fishing app where anyone can win an assortment of prizes from gift cards to hundreds of dollars worth of fishing lures. It doesn't matter if you're a boater or a bank beggar, so hurry up and download the app to get started today. You ever heard of Cal Coast Fishing's Rod Mule? For super convenient rod transfer or storage? And how about the Bait Sack, a puncture-proof, clip-on bait protector that comes in an assortment of sizes? Or maybe you're looking for the best non-puncture calling system with Cal Coast Fishing Clip and Call. And it wouldn't be complete without a money beam. I trust it when money's on the line. And let's not forget the Cali Clip, a super convenient, dual-purpose bait clip. Want to find out more? Visit calcoastfishing.com. Hey guys, Nick the Informative Fisherman here. And when it comes to my hooks, I demand superior craftsmanship, innovative design and proven success and that's why i've chose to partner with mustad fishing hooks with over 180 years in the business you can't go wrong so if you don't want to risk losing a big one i suggest you do the right thing 
Hey guys, did you know that Jurors Truly is now hosting Lucky Tackle Box's monthly panfish instructionals? And aside from relentless fish catching, I'll be breaking down the rigging and the gear you need to get going along the way. And of course, a few extra tips to help you score more fish on the goodies included in your box. So remember, the tug is our drug. So go visit LuckyTackleBox.com and get signed up today. Bigger, better, batter. The evolution of the buzz bait is upon us. The evolution baits grass burners, a high performance bass snatcher machine. High end components, inline displacement, larger profile, balanced body for fast or slower retrieves, better deflection, and oversized treble hooks. You wouldn't bring a slingshot to a gunfight, would you? Find out more at evolutionbaits.com. Ever tried pulling a planer board next to your boat when trolling or fishing from a swift current bank? If not, you're missing out on one of the most phenomenal fish catching machines on the market today. With Yellowbird planer boards pulling your lines perpendicular to your boat, you can't help but catch more fish. Find out more by visiting www.yellowbirdproducts.com. Oh! I'll open this pool up, let it drop back down to him. I probably, he might not come back. Sometimes spotted bass are real feisty and they will come back for it whiffed on them yeah missed them but i'm throwing my shaky head this is eight pound tactical fluorocarbon it's a p-line fluorocarbon that's more limp more designed around uh, spinning and this is the sticks hybrid spinning rod right here it's a little bit more stout of a spinning rod better for like shaky heads flick shakes um, you know you can even throw little finesse jigs or little tiny crankbaits or little tiny jerk baits on this it's just that little bit beefier spinning rod than that finex the finesse stick that I throw like uh, Ned rigs and little tiny exposed wacky rigs and stuff on like that. Little tiny open end drop shot hooks. Got him. Fish on. Fish, Fish on. on. Better one. No, not better. He's just fighting hard. Ah, spotted bass fighting so hard. Another keeper. Jig still got the size though. Four one, four to one. Four to one. Four to one. Jig's, got the, Jig's got the size. So you're gonna see a little screenshot of a, a little grouping of fish that we came across on the same area. The shad's pushing this stuff. The wind's pushing the shad into the bank, and we were able to stop. Now I'm using the jig still. Nick's using the shaky head. This is a scenario where a shaky head kind of kind of comes into play pretty heavily because you can vertically drop on those fish still and have a lot of play in that worm still because on a shaky head that worm especially with a trick worm or a floating worm it's going to have a lot of movement versus a jig without dragging it or getting that tail to kick it's going to have very little movement other than the skirt just flaring out a, a little bit so he was able to kind of clean up on two or three fish there on a, on a small group of fish that were right on the boat where I, I tried the same thing and it, the, the success rate is a lot less on this because this thing has a lot less movement I still, I still pulled the biggest fish on the jig but it was, also, it was also still a long cast. We were sitting in place while he was picking that little group apart. I picked up a fish, dragging it back up the bank uh, on a long cast, so. That's the alarm. That is our first hour out of the way. We are gonna pick a new location. I will be going back to the jig. Matt will be going back to the shaky head for 30 minutes. It is still four to one keepers. Shaky head versus jig, but jig still is maintaining big fish. Even though it wasn't that big, it's still the biggest fish so far, so let's see what happens. All right, guys, we made it to our second spot. Uh, I'm starting off with the jig here. Matt's throwing the shaky head. Start a timer for 30 minutes. All right, guys, so here's an interesting scenario. We're coming down a bank with a lot of brush on it, a little steeper taper. We've seen a lot of bluegills up in that brush. Now, Matt hooked up on a good one and lost it relatively quick. It ran him down into some heavy timber. Never even put the hook through the worm, so the fish had it in the crusher, swam into the timber, let it go, and then came loose. But that's a problem is you lack the control with the spinning gear. Yeah, you may get more bites, but here I'm on 15 pound. I have a heavier duty weed guard right here. I can hook them and wrench them out of this. So the jig here has the advantage via setup wise and leverage with a slightly heavier hook uh, than you would say the shaky hood right there. So if you're on bigger quality fish you may want to try to go through first with the jig in case you get one to commit to leverage them out then maybe your second or third time through trying to milk run and get everything you can out of that spot maybe try a shaky head at that point uh, but performance wise the shaky head can out uh, outperform with bites but mechanically wise over here the jig on a heavier duty setup is going to outperform mechanically so 
I would have much rather caught that fish on that jig. I think you would have boated that fish. <laughs> <laughs> Shaky head. If he keeps. Oh, yeah, it's, a it's a keeper. Yeah. Five, five, to five to one. But the jig's still holding down big fish. Okay, guys, time for another switch. I'm back to the shaky head. Matt's on the jig. It is really, really slowed down, but we just seen some fish busting on bait. Uh, these aren't bait fish style presentations. We'll see what happens. Hopefully we can get them to chew. But the challenge today is jig versus shaky head. So we're sticking it out. Hour and a half left. Oh, that was quick. It has been super slow to get instantly jammed like that really caught me off guard. Darn it. Let's do it. There we go. Shit, uh, spot. Yeah, amazing, huh? Oh my gosh, look at this guy. He's got a rash or something going on here. Ooh, ooh, don't touch me. Six to one. Look at that nastiness. Oh, stinks. Oh, he smells. Too. Jig fish. Oh, oh better. Largey, maybe. Yeah! Oh, stay in the boat. Oh, good time stay to in the, off. Stay in the boat. Stay in the boat. Get a match. Stay in the boat. Yeah. The jig just one ups it. Jig. Yeah. Okay, that's current big fish then. Probably two two for the jig, six for the six shaky. Two, but the two biggest fish are now jig. Yep. I started with the jig, Matt started with the shaky head. It's time to make the switch. We got a couple bites in this spot. I'm gonna knock Matt's shaky head loose of this tree. He already got it. And, uh, oh, no, no, he didn't get it. The tree got it. And uh, we're gonna finalize this, but it is what? Six to two? Six to two. And big fish still leaning towards jig. Yeah. Another six to fish. All right. Yeah. Shaky head. That's uh seven. Seven to two. Grab a soda real quick. Hold on a second. Fish, fish. Tip down, bro. Tip down. Tip down. Tip down. Tip down. Tip down. Tip down. Can't get any lower. It's got to be lower. Lower. Doesn't Go get lower. Any lower than this. He's gonna throw it. Come the hell on. He's gonna throw it. It isn't even impossible to reel. All the way. All the way. Freaking tip down. Here, come on. I got you. I got this. I got tip down, tip down. You gotta keep your tip down. No, bro, lower, you gotta go lower. Bro. I know, man, I should have kept my tip down. <laughs> All right, guys, that is it. Um, extremely tough day out here. Uh, the cold front and big moon, I think definitely uh, made it really, really tough. I have a feeling it's gonna be an evening bite. If we did that in the evening, it'd probably be a little bit better test. But overall, what was it, six to two? Six to two. Six to two. Jig, jig took big fish. Both. Both big fish. Both of the top two heaviest fish we're done on the jig. So if you've heard this your whole life in a tournament situation, let's say that this is what we were stuck with. Okay, somebody would have caught him today. But if we were trying to show face, it was a multiple day tournament. That may have kept us alive. If we would have thrown the shaky head the whole time, our two better fish wouldn't have happened. So you can see in a partner scenario, even though you think both of those baits look relatively the same, the jig just has this ability to get that slightly better fish from time to time. Um, I thought we were probably going to catch 30 or 40 fish. Mm -hmm. um, turns out it was way tougher than that. I mean, six on a shaky head is insanely tough. Um, but that just goes to show you guys right there, that worm, that presentation, that more finesse. Even though it's a six-inch worm and those jigs were a little bit more small, it's kind of a finesse jig, they still got the better bite. So this is all stuff you need to keep in mind. Hopefully you guys learned something from this. Appreciate you watching Informative Fisherman, Instagram, Facebook and YouTube, and you can follow Matt too. I'll link all his stuff in the description. Awesome. See you guys.